Oh baby, my Valentine, yeah. Find a hill and make my temperature to rise. If you leave me, I'll go die. I swear. Oh my God. How can I convince my mother that I love Mimi and I want her to be my wife and the mother of my unborn children? But my mother just dislikes Mimi because of her body shape. Ah, oh, woman. Just imagine what she said. Stanley, hope you're not planning to settle down with that girlfriend of yours that looks like our women leader. So, mommy, what is wrong with her? I don't like her. I just don't like how she looks. Mommy, I'm the one who will marry her and not you. She'll be my wife and not, I'm not marrying you and she's not for you. Stanley, this is Africa. Don't you know that when a woman marries a man, she also marries in his entire family, don't you? Oh my God, I think I need to go and see Mimi. She might be angry by now. What else can I do just to reduce my body size? <laughs> I know the major reason why Stanley's mom dislikes me is, is just because of my body size. I've tried everything from going to the gym, to watching what I eat, to even taking drugs. But I still remain like this. What should I do? I love Stanley. We have gone a very long way, but his mom doesn't like me for how I look. Oh God. Come and intervene. At least let me drop in size a little. I cannot lose Stanley just because of my body size. I love him. <laughs> Mimi, what is wrong? What are you thinking about? Nothing is wrong. Are you sure? Hmm? Okay, you know what? Dress up so that we can go um, to the bar across the road to just relax and have some good time. Yeah? Okay. Stanley, I think we need to end this relationship for the best. It's been very long and it seems we're heading nowhere. Babe, where are we heading to? Baby girl, why are you saying such? I love you with all my heart. Let me tell you, we are heading to the right direction. Okay, you know what? Tell me, what made you say such? Why did you say such? Baby boy. It's been long we have been together in this relationship and we are just stagnant. Stanley, it's been long. Just imagine if you were in my shoes. I'm a lady for crying out loud. Ah, Mimi, stop shouting as if we, we started dating from the BC. It's just eight years now and... Ah, Stanley, it's more than that. It's nine years and a half. And, but it's nothing much now. Mimi, still let me tell you, the whole world knows I love you. My friend knows that you and I will be together, but... But your family dislikes me a lot. I've tried all I can to satisfy them, but it seems they are... Mimi, point of correction. It's just my mom who, who sees you differently. Mimi, don't worry. My mom will definitely like you one day. It's just, it's just for us to just keep pushing. Stanley... Can I ask you a simple question? Why not? Ask me anything you wish. Please be sincere. Sha, you know I will notice if you are lying. Ah, uh -uh, babe, go on, just go on. See, let me tell you, I will say nothing but the truth. So help me God. Stanley, I'm very sure that it's because of my body size that your mother doesn't like me to be around you. Am I right? My dear, it is true. But I don't know how to say it to you in, a, in such a way that it will, it will please God. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, answer me! Um, Mimi, you know what? Why not we discuss this topic some other day? Um, I don't like you getting upset. I want to get upset. Tell me, is your mother against me coming close to you because of how I look? Oh, um, Mimi, let me tell you this. There's a popular saying that says, Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Me, I love you for who you are. See, just forget about them. Forget about what they say. It's me who choose you and not them. Stanley, say the truth. Do you like me like this? Remember, this is Africa. A lady marries the whole family, not only her husband. Okay, Mimi, let me ask you this question. 
why did you suddenly stop going to the gym i'm, I'm not body shaming you but i think the society don't embrace people who are that big in size um, but i still love you for who you are stanley it's not my fault i've tried everything just to slim down a bit but instead i keep growing big the doctor said it's a medical hormone disorder oh my god i'm very sorry mimi but you never shared any of this thing with me why hiding it from me let me tell you it's not your fault but hope the medical disorder won't affect you huh no it's just please let me pick this call hello anita how are you mimi <laughs> where are you <laughs> Please come to Angela's house right now. You won't believe her boyfriend just broke up with her. Oh my god. Please, I'm on my way coming now. You all should wait for me. Stanley, please and please, I need to go and see my friends. Something just happened. Please come later and pick me up at Angela's place. Okay, I will. Um, take care of yourself, yeah? Hello. How you doing? My angel, my one and only. The only one that I'm missing Way to give me joy and blessing No, that I love And I can't wait to say I do Are you the boy that people are usually calling you David Abyss Dave? Are you the one they call you Dave? Yes, I am the one. Is anything the problem? Young man, I want you to leave my daughter alone. She said she is not doing again. Is the relationship by force. So why are you still threatening her? Sir, I am very sorry for such an embarrassment. But sir, I want her to return all the things I ever bought for her since she says she is no longer interested in our relationship. I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean by returning all the things you gave her? Come young man, let me tell you. My daughter, my daughter is not like a small child you play with. How much do you even have in your account? Old man, please, just go home and stop disturbing yourself about this issue. But Angela, your daughter must return all I ever bought for her, since she's tired of me. How will you engage somebody's daughter for more than 10 years and expect her to, to, to still be with you? She wants to move on with her life. You cannot be a stumbling block to my daughter, let me tell you this. I have no problem with Angela, your daughter, from moving on with her life. But all I want is what belongs to me. My friend, who are you? What do you even have? What do you have? What is your what? How much do you want? This one you are bragging about buying heaven and earth for my daughter. What do you what do you even buy for her? Tell me. I also bought this polo you are even wearing right now. Eh? This polo I'm wearing? Yes, I will also need it. It is my cloth. Just because I said I want it to be over between the both of us. He have been threatening me with all sorts of messages. That I should return all. Why would he threaten you? Which sensible guy on earth will engage a lady for 10 years? Is it the Lord of the Rings? Now, why me? But you and your current boyfriend have been together for 8 solid years. So, what's now the difference between 10 and 8? Don't go there. Oh. There is a very big difference. 10 minus 8 is 2. And don't forget that my boyfriend has great potentials than her year year boyfriend. It's okay. Which one is year year boyfriend? I wanted you both to give me some sensible advice on how to tell Dave that I cannot continue with his stagnant relationship. I want to move on with my life. Angela, <laughs> tell him that since he's not ready, you're already seeing someone who is ready to settle down with you. Abby, do you look like uh, those decorations in the museum? So what and what is he telling you? Can you imagine that he sent me a text message that he is coming to my house to collect everything he ever bought from me, including the original charger he gave me. Now wow, come on charger, he even asked you to return it because you both won't continue that bondage of a thing called relationship. Hmm. It is well, Angela. It is well, Don't worry. Hmm? I will continue to pray for the both of you so that God can deliver you both from this bondage called engagement of 10 years and 8 years old. So, what are you trying to say now? 
Are you referring me as same to Angela? At least, thank God we have me in our lives. Not like you, who can't stay with a man for just a month. <laughs> See this one? Who told you I'm hungry for a man? Ugh. I will surely get me any type of man I want whenever I'm ready. I beg you, pack one side. Hello? Who's on the phone? Hello, Mirabel. Um, how are you? It is your family lawyer. Okay, good day, sir. Um, good day, Mirabel. Um, can I meet you at my office? It is very urgent. Okay, sir, I'm on my way. Now, what are for the both of you? I thought I would get a helpful advice from you guys. Instead, it became a reality TV show. Now we're done. Angela, please, I'm sorry. Permit me to go and see my family lawyer. I will soon be back. Hello, how you doing? My angel, my one and only. The only one that I miss. Mirabel, how are you? It's been long. I'm fine, Barrister. What could be the problem? Mimi, I thought you were in a serious relationship all this while. So what's up? What is happening? Sir, with due respect, I guess that should be none of your business. Such problem is my personal life. Yeah, I'm very sorry if you quote me out of context. But I must say this to you. There is a certain will and it is the last will your parents left for you. Apart from the will I got when they both died? Yes, this will will be only given to you whenever you are legally married. Mimi, I'm not forcing you to rush into any marriage, Joe. But that is the instruction your father gave before he died. He said you need to get legally married before I hand over it to you. Wow, that must be serious. Sir, please, can you give me a little hint about what is written in the will? Hmm. Mimi, this is a very hard task I'm about to tell you. You must keep it as a secret. Never you tell anyone, even your boyfriend. That's your boyfriend. Don't tell him about this thing I'm about to tell you. Okay, sir, I promise I won't. Just give me a little hint. Please and please, I beg you with God, keep it as a secret. Okay, this is it. Your parents left the sum of 4 million US dollars for you. And they said it must only be handed over to you whenever you are legally married. 4 million dollars? 4 million dollars? Way to give me joy and blessing. No. That I love you, and I can't wait to say I do. But before we walk the way, I just wanna let you know that you're the one. Boss Tandy, Boss Tandy. Wake up. There's fire on the mountain, no? Are you not hearing this strange noise? This woman, Kwanu, why are you waking me by this time of the night, eh? Why are you, are you waking me now? Nah? Please allow me, can, can you honor? Are you not hearing this sound of a cat crying? And so, if the cat cries, what is your problem about, about that, eh? Papa Stanley, it is the evil people, oh. Hmm. I cannot watch and see them coming to our family. Ah, uh -uh. don't you see them in movies? Mm -hmm. That cat could be the cat of our neighbor. Eh? Don't you know that our neighbor have cats too? Papa Stanley, when did our neighbor start rearing cats in this house? I beg go, I'm calling our daddy Gio, the able pastor, to send bombs of prayers. <sighs> At this time of the night, you want to start disturbing somebody's husband, who you call your pastor, your prayer band warrior, to come and start praying for you because of a cat. Be dear, I'm be sleeping. I'm already calling the pastor. Hello, God bless you. Who's on the phone by this time of the night? Sorry, sorry, Pastor, for calling you at this time of the night. Is that Madam James or Mama Stanley? You know, that's your new member, member that just joined your church two weeks ago. Oh, Sister Mrs. James, you are blessed. So what is the problem? Why are you calling me by this time of the night? Pastor, hmm, it is my enemy, so. They have now come to attack me in form of a cat. The cat is shouting, meow, meow, meow. How? Pastor, the cat have been doing meow, meow, meow for like an hour now. 
Mrs. James, it could be an innocent cat who chose to just cry at this particular time of the night. Pastor, this one is not innocent though. It is my enemies. Okay, let me pray. You cat, I command you to stop that noise. Amen. Pastor, the cat has stopped making the noise. That is great. Good night. Hello, Pastor. The cat has started again, oh. This time around, the meow, meow is worse than the first. Mrs. James, when did you start coming to my church? Two weeks ago. Please, and please, stop coming to my church again and again. And make sure you delete my number from your phone. Ah, so because of ordinary cats, I cannot come and sleep in peace. Don't ever try this number again. Pastor, Pastor, hello, hello, hello? Hello, how you doing? My angel, my one and only. The only one that I'm missing. Way to give me joy and blessing. No, that I love. And I can't wait to say I do. Barista Ade, this one you came to my house early this morning. Uh -uh. Is there no work today? Oh, Remy, I am very tired of this work. Oh. See, I'm not lying. I've been working for my Lega firm for almost 15 years now, but I have never made $500,000. Ah, can you imagine that as a lawyer? When somebody is piling up millions of dollars for his children. <laughs> barista, barista, it seems you are dreaming, no? When have our, our country Lega tender currency been replaced by a dollar? If I, you would understand what I am saying, you no? Know? Only lawyers like me who dish out inherited properties to people's children will understand this message I am saying. I beg, I, I don't understand this thing. Please, can you explain more? Oh, Remy, you won't understand what I'm saying. But let me explain it more for you. There is this our client who was a businessman and a politician when he was alive. He left so many wills, properties, amenities for his only daughter before he died. So after the man died, we gave the rest properties to his daughter to get everything and the money but there is this last will we are still holding because the man said he must only give it to his daughter only when she is legally married only when she is married to a man in an official way so what is inside this particular last will which she must benefit if she only gets married legally what is inside if i this will contains four million us dollars four million us dollars that is what is inside it and is in the bank right now, chilling. Ha! This girl called Mimi, she is now soaking millions, millions of millions of dollars. Oh my god! This is very huge amount of money. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. If it gets converted to our local currency, how much will it be? Ah, don't go there, oh. See, if you convert that money to our local currency, it is two billion, it is over two billion naira. Jeez! Two billion naira! Omo, um, this money is really huge, oh. So you mean one small girl somewhere is already a billionaire, just like that? While I am still going around submitting application later for a better job, since this my boss want to kill me, kill me before my time. That is why I came to your house this morning to give you a better job. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You don't mean it? Wait, is the so-called billionaire girl looking for a worker? Because, see, <laughs> I don't mind working for such a girl, though, even though she's a baby. <laughs> than killing myself for this nonsense work I, I usually go every morning. If I, you know you're my Oremi. See, I want you to go into this girl life and promise her marriage. See, once she agree and you get married to her, bam, you are already a billionaire. <laughs> see, even the hotel dollar cannot come in near your place. Mommy, why did you ask me to come quickly to the house? to the family house before going to my office work, huh? Stanley, why I called you to come is to tell you what is going on. Hmm, there is a popular saying that said, if the snake becomes friendly, people will always mistake it for a rope. Ah, mommy, please go straight to the point. I'm in a rush to meet up a board meeting in the office. Stop all these long proverbs. Okay, let me do as you said. But Stanley, let me remind you that I did not frustrate my parents, so my child cannot frustrate me. Hey God, Daddy, please can you help me and share whatsoever she's she's just withholding within herself. 
Mama Stanley, what is wrong, Kwano? Please do quick and release this boy now so that he can go to the office. Didn't you hear him see when he was saying that he has a board meeting this morning? Eh? Stanley, do you know that that Mimi, your girlfriend, came and attacked me? Attack? How? Wait, did she intrude into the family house last night? Uh, I, I don't understand. Dad, is this true? Stanley, please ask her, oh, because I'm not the one that even called you. She's the one that called you. Eh? I'm not the one. Ask her. Stanley, this is not a joking matter. Oh. Mimi came and attacked me in form of a cat last night because I've been saying that she's not your type of woman for my son. Yeah, she's not the type of woman for my son. <laughs> so, mommy, you called me down here just because of an ordinary cat. Look at this one, oh. Who told you it was an ordinary cat? This cat was busy shouting, Mio, Mio, and this shout is not normal. Oh, okay, and the cat was my dear friend, Mimi, right? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, now, I saw her. Okay, let us do something. Bring her to the house in the evening. I know she will refuse to come, because she will be guilty of the attack. Okay, mommy, you know what? I will bring her to this house this evening to prove to you that my girlfriend is innocent. And please stop blackmailing my future wife. Okay, till then. But I don't know as your future wife, oh. I, I, I don't understand. I have never seen this girl. I don't know her. And you want me to just leave my current relationship because of an unknown girl who just inherited $4 million. Guy, let me be sincere. I'm not a gold digger, oh. I am not telling you to go and leave with her forever. Just go into her heart and win her soul. Get married to her and then the $4 million will be released by the court and there is no way you would have a control over the money since, since she already trusts you and don't forget <laughs> this is very important don't forget i will have my own percentage oh, from that money because i am an agent <laughs> can you imagine what's coming out from your mouth <laughs> god indeed the judiciary system is really corrupt so why why won't you go and win her heart instead of me going ah look at what you are saying she knows I am married already, but she does not know anything about you. And mind you that this your current relationship is not a guarantee. Oh. I'm not even sure if it will lead to, mar to many marriage. And let me tell you, nobody knows tomorrow. Yeah? <laughs> so what made you think that this Mimi of a girl will just accept me once I just go and meet her and just start talking to her? Let me tell you something. This particular Mimi of a girl... She is hungry for a husband. She is looking for a miracle husband right now. Because she has been praying and looking for a serious life partner. Abi, let me call a serious husband that will come and settle with her. She remember you're the girl for me. It is you that I want, that I need. You know, you remember you're the girl for me. Angela, please, I'm very sorry for what happened between you and your boyfriend. See, eh? Sometimes we just need to take some things gradually. Mimi, see, you won't understand. Let me sincerely tell you. Sometimes, I pray to have the kind of your relationship. At least, it is better than mine. As in now? At least. We all know that Stanley's mother is the only reason why Stanley have not married you. Hmm, my dear, leave that level low. Only those who wear shoes know where it hurts them. Uh -huh. Angela, I forgot to tell you this. Stanley requested me to come and see his mother this evening. Hope you'll come along with me. I'm so sorry. I have a meeting with my dad, but you can go along with Anita. Hmm, sure, I will try and take her along. At least she will use that her big basket mouth to defend me. <laughs> you two get bad mouth. Uh -huh. Angela, did you know that my late dad's lawyer told me something? <laughs> what I will tell you about it someday. Tell me now, please. Good day, sir. Ah, uh, Mimi, how are you? Have you come? I'm fine, sir. Angela, let me take my leave. See you later, or we'll chat on phone. Mama, good evening, ma. Oh, she really came? Hmm. Yes, so we are here. My lord, can we now start the case? 
Stanley, hope all is fine. Hello, Binta, how are you? Uncle Dave, have you come to our house again? You always come to chop our food every day. See this small girl? Will you keep quiet before I get mad at you? Naughty girl, you lack home training. Uncle, you can tell me other things, so, but don't insult me. Oh. Just because I said the truth, you want to batter me. Why not? Shout the truth is always better. Eh? My God! So because I came to your house and ate food like two to three times, you now say I always come to your house to eat your food? Confess, who is your mother? Because I only came here to look for her. Uncle, wait first. Let us settle this big case on ground before I answer you. Which case are you talking about? And when did you start having cases to be settled, Madam Lawyer? Why did you leave Auntie Angela? You broke her heart and she has been crying since uh, then. Will you keep quiet? What have the world start turning to be? Ha! Huh? Smoking like you have start knowing things about law. Uncle, leave that talk. There is nothing I have not seen in this world. Don't forget that this world is a small place. Will you keep quiet? What have the world start turning to be? Ha! Huh? Smoking like you have start knowing things about love. Mimi, so you came around. How are you? This one you are getting this big like an elephant. Hope you can walk home yourself. So who is this beautiful lady sitting here? Stanley, is she also your friend? Good evening, ma. <laughs> hmm. You are such a beautiful and a nice woman. Aww. Wow. Thank you, my dear. What a decent girl. I guess your parents raised you in the good ways. Stanley, please, who is she? I just like her. Mommy, um, this is Anita. She's Mimi's friend too. Um, she came along with us. What a bright lady you are. Stanley, can she come and help out in the kitchen? I guess she'll be a nice lady to work with. Thank you, Ma. Her and Mimi will be very helpful to you in the kitchen. Mimi can also cook a sweet and delicious meal, like the ones I usually tell you about. No! Let only Anita come and help me. I don't want to stress your Mimi. Can't you see how mighty she is? She might not be able to stand for two minutes. Did she tell you so, eh? Let the both of them go and assist you now. Meanwhile, I have not even eaten the meal our future daughter-in-law knows how to make. At least let me eat it today. Baba Stanley, please allow me to do what I want to do. Don't worry, when your turn comes, you can carry whosoever you want. Anita, darling, please come to the kitchen and assist me. Okay, ma. Stanley, can we talk outside? I want us to discuss something important. <laughs> so, Anita, how are you? You really look like a girl who has the fear of God and well brought up. Yes, ma. I am well brought up and I have the fear of God in me. Anita, mm, immediately I saw you, I just felt something tantalizing in me. Shall you know, this is my first time of knowing you, but immediately I saw you, something in me just said, you will be the right woman for my son. Ha, Mommy Stanley, how? I don't understand. Anita, don't be afraid. I want you to replace that Mimi of a girl in the life of my son. Ah, Mommy Stanley, <laughs> Mimi is my best friend and I cannot betray her like this. Moreover, Stanley is in love with her, not me. Wait, oh, do you know that you should be worried of me, not my son Stanley? But let me ask you this, are you in a relationship? No, but it's just that I have a daughter. Hmm, so you mean that you are a single mother? Y yes. So what then happened to the father of your daughter? We were not compatible, so we went our separate ways. It was not my fault that we split it, though. Okay, so what are you thinking about what I just said concerning you and my son coming together? I'm 
just glad you also have a little family experience, not like that hybrid chicken. But, Mama, seriously, I cannot betray my friend Mimi. Moreover, Mimi is still a nice girl for your son. <laughs> Anita, don't you see how big she is? That your friend will be very lazy. She will turn my son to a houseboy or servant if she eventually marries him. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. I... I somehow agree with you that she is, she is a lazy girl, but your son loves her like that. Anita, so if you have a grown-up son tomorrow, you will you close your eyes and allow your son to be a houseboy to his wife? No, Mama. It's, it's, it's just sometimes love is blind and it happens naturally. Come, Anita, this time around, that love that is always blind will open his eyes, though. Moreover, you have come to let me start telling you how you have to come to let me start telling you how to get into my son's life. I want you to marry him and not me, me your friend. Stanley, sincerely, I cannot withstand your mother's embarrassment. It is getting too much. What kind of a disgrace is this? Is this why you carried me to your family house? Mimi, I want you to un just understand that there are ups and downs in relationship. And this is our own mountain. We must climb it to prevail. I know you are not happy about it, but you just... Stanley, this is not the kind of a mountain I wanted to climb. But if this continues, I think we need to... Mimi! Just keep quiet and understand. My mom is just trying to be overprotective of me. I don't get you. Am I dangerous for you? No, go ahead. Because I'm already used to your family insulting me, body shaming me, and disgracing me in the front of my friend. Only God knows what they both are discussing in that kitchen. Mimi, see, let me tell you this. Being too reactive like this will solve the problem on ground. We just need to start thinking out of the box. Stanley, there is no box in this matter. I even wanted discussing something with you that my lawyer revealed to me. But we need to solve this case before I tell you what he said. Okay, I will. But you know what, just tell me what exactly your family lawyer told you. What did he say? I won't tell you until you agree to do something in our relationship. What will I do again? Eh? What will I do again? I want you and me to relocate to another state. Or if possible, we move to another country and have our peace there. <laughs> Mimi, you, you are not serious, so. so what about my work, my family, my friends, people around me? You mean I should just leave them and follow you? If I eat, you are the one making this thing look like a very difficult work, oh. I just gave you a short plug and you are here, darling. Let me tell you, there is no way God would appreciate me for bringing this a very good plan to us. See, Barista Adi, I don't feel okay just to go into an innocent girl life because she's about to inherit a big sum of money. I feel guilty to such. So, if I, you mean I don't have a conscience, Adi? Eh? Let me tell you, I know what I'm doing. I'm a good lawyer with a conscience. Why I want you to go and partake in this Mimi's inheritance is because that money kept for her is public fault. Which means, it's my money and it's also your money. Wait, wait, you, you don't mean it. Was her father a politician in this country before he died? Yes, of course, that is what I am saying. That is why I want you to go and act as if you love her. And when she finally accepts you, you both will get married and you can you have the part of the money as your own. So after that, we will then break up, share the properties and go our separate ways, Abby? I don't know, but all I just want to tell you is that I will benefit 10% of anything you will get from that $4 million. Oh, God help me, for I'm about to do what you don't like. I Amino, mean, no. but here is the address of our house. Don't fail this mission, no. If I eat, don't fail this mission. Hello, how you doing? My angel, my one and only, the only one that I'm missing. Will it give me joy and blessing? No, that I love you. And I can't wait to say I do. Wait, Mimi, are you out of your senses?
Wait, you want me to to just resign from my work, leave my family, and follow you to wherever you want? Yes, Stanley, just accept, and I promise that you'll never regret it. I have a big plan for us. Mimi, <laughs> you said you have a plan. I don't understand. So you mean you have a family for me somewhere again? Can you imagine what you're saying? Since your mother doesn't like the both of us being together, why don't we relocate? And Stanley, I promise you will never regret it. Mimi, I don't think it will work, let me tell you this. Because a woman must be submissive to her man. Where I go is where you go. Then that is the end of our nine years journey. Bye bye, mommy's boy. Don't forget to suck her breast for today's dinner. <laughs> hey, what happened? What happened to this beautiful babe? Why is it bleeding like this? Please, you, should, you people should do something about it now. Do something, please. Can't you see that she was hit by a car? Please, you people should stop snapping pictures and let's take her to the hospital. Madam, please wait. Let me just take this last one for social media. You are very irresponsible for that. So your snapping picture is more valuable than someone's survivor. Please bring that car. Let's rush her to the hospital. Thank you so much for the first aid you applied on her before bringing her to the hospital. The medical society wants people like you. Thank you, doctor. So how is she? Hope she's getting better. Yes, she's fine now. But she's unconscious. She might wake up in some few hours depending on the effectiveness of the drip I just gave her. But were you able to contact any of her family members? Because we only need a member of her family here. Yes, doctor. We called the last contact she communicated with. And the person is on his way coming. Really? You mean her phone does not have any password? You mean you just open it freely? Wow. Yes, doctor. Mimi must be a free and generous person. Sha, let's wait for any of her family members to arrive. for what Stanley's mom is telling me. Hmm? Should I snatch Stanley from Mimi? But it even seems like the both of them will not be compatible in this life. Oh. Well, sure. I'll try and please Matt. Mommy, good evening. Binta, how are you? Where have you been? I came back searching for you and you're nowhere to be found. Shebe, I told you to always stay inside the house anytime I'm not around. Mommy, don't worry. I'm not a big girl. But mommy, why do you look different from your Instagram and Facebook picture? I don't get you. What do you mean that I look different in picture? When have you become a photographer? Huh? It's just that your picture on social media is different from your face in real life. Mama and me can say, and mommy is only beautiful electronically. So, Binta, you and Mama Emeka, eh, have started gossiping about people. So, as small as you are, you have not joined the gospel gang in this compound. Which one is I'm only beautiful electronically? Eh? Mommy, I don't know. Just go and ask Mama Emeka about it. She will explain it to you better. Binta. When next I tell you to stay inside the house and you go out to start learning how to gossip, eh? I will beat the hell out of you. Okay, mommy, I'm very sorry. I won't sit with my mind Mika again to talk about people. But mommy, I have another question. What is it again? I hope it's not part of what Mama Emeka said again. 
He is my father. I want to go and see him. What can I do to make it go away? I don't like this feeling. What should I do if you don't feel the same? I'm Hello, dear. Good evening. Good evening. How can I help you? Um, I'm looking for a lady called Mirabelle. Or she's popularly known as Mimi. People call her Mimi. And she works with an insurance company. Oh, you mean Mimi? Haven't you heard about what happened to her a few hours ago? Wait, um, is she okay? Hope she's not in a big mess. Mimi was involved in a car accident while returning home. She was hit by a car and she's in the hospital receiving treatment. Oh my god, hope nothing bad, like very bad happened to her. Yeah, I will say such. But she had several injuries and she also needs to go for a surgery to bring out some metals in her. But the doctor is waiting for her family members before the surgery can commence. Please, can you give me the address to the hospital where she is being admitted? Okay, no problem. Stanley, why I called you out here is to discuss your future. In this life, there is something you can never recover. And that thing is called time. Mm, you just go straight to the point. Why did you call me out here? I want to start going home. You are Mimi, Mimi, you, you guys pissed me off today. Thank God you are pacing up and down because of that lady. See eh? I have a very big good news for you. What is it? I just spoke with Anita, yes. And the both of us, you know, has sat and discussed like real potential women. The discussion we had was for your own good. Mommy, what is it? Ah. Okay, me and Anita have discussed and she have agreed for you to come and marry her as your wife. What? You really want me to start having something to do with Mimi's friend? Come on, mommy. It's irritating. Mommy, please, we need to discuss this thing some other time in, an, in another way. All these small, small children of these days, you won't understand. Let me tell you, during my young age, I left rich men and big boys just to settle with your father because I knew he had great potential. Mommy, that is you, not me. Despite that I just broke up with Mimi some few hours ago, I want to do this thing you are just asking me to go and do. Eh? <laughs> you both are no longer together. Hallelujah! Not Unkiru, where are you? Don't you know you are supposed to be on duty? Or have you resigned? Sorry, doctor. I'm inside the bus right now, coming to the hospital. It's just that traffic is holding us here. Please come down to the hospital very quickly. We have an emergency. There's a lady in the ICU who needs to be operated and only few nurses are on grand. I need you here, right now. Okay, doctor. I'm coming. Give me two seconds. I don't have much to say, oh. But God knows I want you to have a better future. It must happen by fire, by force. Young man, you said you are looking for a girl called Mimi. Well, she's in the ICU. We are waiting for funds from our people before we can commence any surgical operation. Because she had some metals close to her lungs. Oh my god, I feel so sorry for her. So doctor, please tell me, what is holding you guys from doing the operation? We need payment before we can start such a versatile task. Doctor, um... How much is the money that is, that is holding you guys from starting this operation? It is just 70,000, but we need a deposit of 50 before starting anything at all. Just 70,000 Nera? Um, okay, just give me a few minutes. Let me make a call. I'll be right back. Hello, Barista Day. Ha! There is a big problem. Oh. If I, what is it again? When I got to Mimi's house, I heard she was involved in an accident. So, um, I just rushed quickly to the hospital to also check on her. 
But you know what? None of our family members have even come to the hospital. Then you become a family, a comforter. This is a very good opportunity for you to win our hearts. I know, but you know what? There's a big problem on ground right now. What is it are you talking about? The doctor said they need 70,000 to commence the surgical operation on her. And you know what? I can't be here and do nothing about it. This is a very good opportunity to shoot the shot. Then you pay for it now. Remember that we are aiming for something very huge. But, 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 are they, you, you know that I don't have such kind of amount of money with me. The only money I have in my bank right now is just 2,225. Ah, Olua, do you know that since I know you, you have always been useless. Ade, it is not my fault. If I had such amount of money, I would have paid. Moreover, my salary in a month is not even up to the 70,000 the doctor is demanding for. Ah, you know what I will do now. Don't worry, I will send you the money. I will send you 80,000 naira. But please, if I don't spoil this mission, no. remember that the sacrifice you are putting into this. Um, doctor, right now I have come back. Um, I want you guys to start this surgery right now. With immediate effect, nothing should happen to Mimi. Please. Where can I pay the money to? Wow, what a good man with a pure heart. Are you related to her in any way? Um, doctor, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a secret admirer who have been admiring um, this beautiful Mimi for so long. And you know what? I'm willing to do anything for her, even at this hard time. Wow, love is meekness. She will never forget you for this. I guess this is a pure heart with love. People like you are very rare. Thank you, Doctor, but um, actually my main aim is just to prove to Mimi that I can do anything for her. I want to lie for the both of us. This is so sweet. Don't worry, after she regains her, her strength, I will tell her of your good deed. I wish I can get such a man like you for my own daughters. You are a kind man. Where is this stupid nurse, Unkiru? Is she not supposed to be here by now? You are like the oxygen I need to survive. I will be your nurse. Your love is a torture in me. So you know what is going on, and you kept mute. Stanley, what is wrong with you? Why were you not picking up my calls for over 30 minutes? Sorry for not speaking you. I thought maybe it was because of the incidents that happened between me and Mimi. Maybe that's the reason why you were trying to call me. Um, you know, Mimi broke my heart. Today, she broke my heart today because I said I want to relocate with her. And, and she got angry. See, I'm the man, not her. Hmm. Now, wow. Okay, I am trying to call you that Mimi was involved in a car accident while she was returning from your place. People said it was an act of suicide. Stanley, what have you done to Mimi? Accident? Oh my God, where is she right now? Where is she? She is admitted in the hospital where your mother works. I guess your mom is aware. But hope she's responding to treatment, eh? I don't know. Go and check for yourself because I'm on my way to the hospital too. Oh my God. Am I the cause of Mimi's predicament? Hope she's fine. I pray nothing happens to her. Let me start going to the hospital to see her. Oh God. Hello Stanley. Where are you right now? Have you heard what happened? Yes mom. I just got a call that Mimi... I know I, somebody came and told me that Mimi was involved in an accident. Um, oh, hope she's fine wherever she is. I know she's in your hospital. Okay, you know what? In short, I'm coming down to your hospital right now. Don't worry. Don't even bother coming to the hospital. Just come to the family house when I'm back at night. But mommy, this is Mimi now. Why are you telling me not to come to the hospital to see her? She was involved in an accident. And admitted in your hospital. Why shouldn't I come? That is why I said, calm down. You might come and see her during the visiting hours, but then she might be awake. Okay, okay, ma, please try your possible best. Try everything you can. Oh, baby, my Valentine, yeah. 
By now you didn't make my temperature to rise If you leave me I'll go die I swear You are like the oxygen I need to survive I won't be your nerve Your love is a total in me I am so obsessed Doctor, please how is Mimi? Hope the surgery went fine Yes, Mimi is a strong girl The surgery went fine And she will be awake in an hour Oh, thank God. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, young man, what is your name? Um, my name is Ifi, um, but the real name is called Ifai. Um, doctor, is anything wrong? No, no, not at all. Nothing is wrong. It's just that while I was in the theater performing surgery on Mimi, I was thinking how you took all these responsibilities on yourself by saving Mimi at all costs. <laughs> doctor, it is part of what people do for love. <laughs> I have to do it because I love Mimi. Wow, that is so interesting. But have you in any way maybe talked to her and expressed to her how you feel about her? Have you? No, doctor. I've been shy all this while. My heart always beats whenever she passes me on the road. I don't know how to tell her how beautiful she is and how much I love the things about her. I have been planning to talk to her for for so long and I think now is just the best time. <laughs> Ify, you are a grown man. You need to start taking bold steps to go after what you like. Be bold and grab what you like. You know what? Don't worry. When Mimi finally regains her strength, I will tell her about you and make sure I play a part in trying to join you both together. Ah, thank you doctor. Indeed you are my destiny helper. <laughs> but wait first. Hope you have a job that can take care of a woman because not be good at and fine boy she will job if she eventually agrees to date you. Yes, doctor, I have a job. I work as a bike delivery man, like I'm a dispatcher, I dispatch things for people. Oh, okay then. I will see what I can do. Mimi. I don't think it will work, let me tell you this. Because a woman must be submissive to her man. Where I go is where you go. Then that is the end of our nine years journey. Bye bye, mommy's boy. Don't forget to suck her breast for today's dinner. <laughs> Should I disobey my mother and go to the hospital to see Mimi? Huh? The only book says, children, obey your parents. I think I should wait for her to come back and tell me whatever is happening. I'm sure Mimi is fine. No, I shouldn't disobey my mom. I baby my Valentine, yeah. Find out you didn't make my temperature to rise. If you leave me, I'll go die. I swear, you are like the oxygen I need to survive. I won't be your Open up, make I see you. Give me love once and two. Baby, make a little Young boy, I heard you are the one checking on Mimi and taking care of her bills. How come I've never heard or seen you before? Yes, I'm the one taking care of her. I heard that her auntie is, is not in town, and shall we both spoke on phone, and she will soon be here, but she's not in town. You have not answered my questions, though. I said, what is your name and who are you to Mimi? Um, my name is Ify and I am someone who have been loving Mimi for so long and I have been longing to talk to her and I use this opportunity to express my love to her. Hmm, love care. Where are your parents? Hope your parents or family members have food to eat. This one you came and paid 70,000 Naira hospital bill for a girl you are admiring. I beg your pardon. I did it for love. And I will do it for anyone I love. Not Unkiru, what is the noise about? Hmm, doctor, it's not you know. I'm just surprised that this young man came and paid for the complete hospital bill of a girl we worked on. Not Unkiru, it is called love and I like it. The young man just showed that he can go extra miles for the woman he loves. 
and I wish him the best. Okay, but my son, remember that not everything that glitters is gold, though. Thank God for your health. I was really worried about you when I got the news about your accident. Angela, it is God, though. But it was my fault. I was the one who entered the road without looking or checking for any coming car. But that should not be the reason why the so-called driver shouldn't stop. He just left you in your pool of blood. My dear, thank God I'm alive. But Mimi, what were you thinking that made you not to check for any coming vehicle? Angela, it's a long story. Oh. Hmm. Do you know that Stanley had to choose his mom decision over our relationship? But she's not around here because she works in this hospital. Yeah. I saw her when I came in, but what did you say to her that got into this condition? See, if she doesn't like you around her son, leave their family and move on with your life. My dear, your mental and physical health matter soon. You are not the first girl to fall in love. Angela, I heard that there is a guy who has been admiring me for so long. And he has been in the hospital throughout, taking care of me and also paying my bills. I'm so happy you. Lucky girl. I saw him outside feeling sleepy. That boy must be an angel sent for you. So what about Stanley? I am no longer continuing that so-called relationship with him. I ended the relationship and he never felt remorseful because he obeys his mom than our relationship. My dear, never go into any relationship with any mommy's boy. You. Hmm. Now wow, it is well, my dear, please move on with your life. Remember that only those who live get the chance to think about love. It is true. Angela, please, can I share a big secret with you? Please, I want you to keep it as a secret. This was the reason I asked Stanley for me and him to relocate to a new place. I will. I promise to keep it safe with me. Okay. Recently, my late dad's lawyer came and told me that my dad kept a huge amount of money for me. And such money should only be given to me when I get married legally. Wow, that is so sweet. Thank God for your dad, not like us who left a huge debt for his children to pay. So how much is that? It's just four million dollars. You said just four million dollars? Oh baby, my Valentine, yeah. Find a hill and make my temperature rise If you leave me, I go die I swear, you are like the oxygen I need to survive Oh, thank God, thank God, Mui, you are finally back um, How is Mimi? Hope she's fine, hope she's now regaining her strength I don't even know why Dr. Sadiq was calling me to the hospital You know, to come to the hospital earlier I didn't even know it was because of Mimi that was involved in an accident So, Mimi, how is she? You know what, right now I feel guilty that it was because of me she was involved in an accident. Oh God, because you know what, I broke up with her. And, mommy, is she fine? Which because of you? Stanley, thank your God you broke up with her. Do you know that Mimi was just a package of a damaged girl looking for a church boy to finish his career? Mommy, what do you mean? Mimi, I know, has been a good girl and a nice girl. So where did you hear all this from, huh? <laughs> Somebody's daughter have been scamming my only son, no? Chai! Do you know that all her hookup boys she knew came to the hospital to check on her? Like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, all the big boys. She has been sleeping around and chilling with they all came to the hospital to check on their queen that is why i never wanted you to come i have never seen this kind of nonsense in my 33 years as a nurse i still find it very hard to believe you. i still find it very hard to believe me, me and mimi have been together for more than well, in nine years right now and this thing looks strange to me oh you still don't believe me do you know that while me and dr sadiq we are operating on her. We found out that she have no womb in her stomach. Hmm, shy. Leave me alone, I swear 
Thank you so much, Mr. Stranger. I heard of all the good work you did just to see me back to my feet. Thank you so much. So what's the name? My name is Ify uh, Mirabel. I'm so happy that you are getting better than we even expected. Wow, you even know my name. You are a good researcher. <laughs> Mimi, I was sent to your life for a different purpose. But when I heard about you, read about you and noticed who you are, I immediately realized that you are a good girl who should never experience such a wicked act. Uh, excuse me, sir. Come again from that part you said a different purpose. Mimi, let's leave that for now. I will tell you more when you get stronger. But Mimi, I just want you to know that I am emotionally and lovely attracted to you. Um, Mr. Ify, I think you are taking this thing too fast though. At least let's know each other for some while. Before thinking of such, I'm still in the sick bed. Mimi, let me tell you this. Many people believe in love at first sight. But I saw my love when she was in pains and troubles. And it was also my first sight. And I'm ready to move along with you. Ife, I appreciate your compliment too. But you never asked if I'm in a relationship or if I have someone who's about to marry me. I'm sorry to say this, but I have been waiting for you and Stanley, your ex-boyfriend, to break up so that I can replace him. She doesn't know what she just missed. Mimi, I want you to be the girl for me. <laughs> Are you sure that this boy is not after you because of the inheritance? No, I'm not sure. But I have to be very careful with him. At least he's very kind now. Check him out. How you doing, my angel? Mimi, how is your body? I hope you are getting better. Yes, doctor. I really appreciate all your efforts in making sure I stand strong. Thank you. So when am I getting this? Mimi, we as a medical facility appreciate your acknowledgement. It is our responsibility to make sure that anybody who comes here must depart with joy and excitement. Thank you, doctor. So when am I getting discharged? soon at least before 6 pm but i want to personally introduce to you you a man that showed how to care for not only the one he loves but for her doctor we were having some conversation before you came in well i like him all he's handsome and i think he <laughs> you think what say it to before the cock crows i i think i like him I pray he's the person I believe he is. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm that guy you ever dreamt of. And I will always be for you. Wow, you guys reminded me of my early days as a youth. Well, Mimi, we have no much time to spend. I think we should start preparing for your discharge. Thank you, doctor. Stanley, here is Anita, the Mimi's friend I told you about. She will be a very good wife for you in the future. Stanley. 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 I'm talking to you. Answer me. Mommy, please leave me alone. I love Mimi. Mimi is the only girl who understood me. And I can't, I cannot believe all these things you, 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 you just said about her. Oh God. Mommy. I went and confirmed all those lies you said, and they were really lies. Oh my God. Who said such? Stanley, I want the best for you. Mommy, please, tell me the major reason why you hated Mimi so much, and you never wanted her to be around me. I know you just use her body size as a, as a mere excuse, but- Stanley, mind what you say to me, oh. I'm your mother. I carried you for nine months in my stomach. I gave you breast to suck, so I know what is good for you. I don't like Mimi because she's not from our tribe. Can you imagine what you just said? You said you don't like Mimi because she's not from our tribe? Huh? Are you the one who will marry Mimi or is it me? Mommy, see, let me tell you, I'm getting pissed off. Stanley, I don't want a daughter-in-law who will not understand our culture. 
Oh God of mercy, I feel like crying. You delayed me from getting married to this girl I love because she's not from my tribe or your tribe. Huh? And you brought this, this betrayer for me to marry. Oh my God. Anita, are you not ashamed of yourself? You betrayed your friend. This is called betrayer. Stanley, don't call her a betrayer. She's way better than Mimi. She's from our tribe. The only problem is that she cannot speak the language well. No, Mama. I can speak a little and I also understand everything. Come, will you keep quiet? You betray her. You betrayed your friend just to have me. Please stop believing in my mother. That means you can betray me tomorrow if I end up with you. I'm pissed off already with both of you. I'm going to Mimi's place to ask her for forgiveness and I will make sure I expose you and mommy. I just have respect for you, but you, Anita, I'm going to expose you whether you like it or not. Stanley, 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 come back here. I said, come back here. You are a naughty boy. <laughs> so you don't have power. You said you received bullets for me. Hmm. <laughs> Baby girl, see, there are types of bullets too, in case you don't know. But let me assure you that I will never allow you to get into anything that will harm you. And I will make sure we stay away from troubles. Aww, Ify, I love you. These seven months that we both shared together, it's just like 70 years of fun and joy to me. Ify, thank you for coming into my life. When I was shattered and scattered, you gathered me back to a living thing. Mimi, I love you. See, I will do anything for, for you. And I will make sure that tears never comes out from your eyes. Amen, oh my love. But Ify, I want you to stop the dispatcher job you are doing. See Ify, let me give you some money to start your personal business. No Mimi. I made a promise that I will never look into your money. Don't worry, I'm here for love and happiness. Keep your money. I'm, I'm, I'm already planning and saving a lot just to start up my own business. Now wow, I have never seen a man who always rejects financial assistance from his woman. Be there and be forming Elon Musk. Mimi, don't worry. See, it's just that I'm avoiding what people will say. Don't worry. I have something to tell you and I will tell you someday. Hello, who's there? Come in, the door is open. What brought you here? Hope you are fine. This one you look so depressed. Hope you are okay. Mimi, please, I'm very sorry. I came here to ask you for forgiveness. Mimi, please forgive me for taking taking you for granted during our our good days and our, our nice days. Mimi, please, I'm very sorry. My mom planned all this just to separate you from me because she believed that you, you are not from my tribe. Mimi, please forgive me and accept me back. This is painful. This is painful to me if you say no. Mimi, please. Hmm, you never felt remorseful when I departed. I even had an accident because of your family. And you never came to see me in the sick bed. Mimi, just know it is all my mother's fault. She fed me with lies just to make sure I stay away from you. Mimi, please. Think, think about it. This is really painful. I missed who I love so much. Well, as you can see, someone picked me up and gave me a life. Um, Mimi. I want to use this opportunity to ask you to marry me. Mimi, please marry me and I promise to always make you happy. You will be my number one priority. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, wow. Mimi, I love you. Mr. Man, at least be happy not to be shouting yes, yes now. Are you not happy for us? Mimi, I'm very excited you accepted my marriage proposal. Oh God, this is so sweet. Come on, baby boy. I'm happy. Thank you for taking such courage. Don't worry, I will take major responsibilities during the wedding ceremonies. 
No, Mimi, I will do everything. See, don't bother. Let me do it according to the size of my pocket. I want to make you happy with the little I have. See this one, oh? I am willing to spend. Baby, don't worry, it's my money. Um, okay, Mimi, it's better I let the cat out of the basket. I have a confession to make. Okay, go on, I'm listening. Mimi, destiny brought you into my life for good when I, when I took a bad decision. Um, at first, your dad's lawyer, Barrister Ade, planned all this I'm about to tell you. He asked me to come into your life and claim to be your boyfriend. And after you, uh, maybe you inherit what your, da your late dad kept for you, then um, I will get my share and break up with you. And he will also get his own percentage because he believes that you will be de you, you will be legally married and the court will give you the four million dollars your dad left for you. But Mimi, when I got into your life, I just saw that you don't deserve this thing. And I found love in you. I found changed in you. Mimi, you changed me. Mimi, I can't do such to you. And I've decided to change. And Mimi, I want you to be the woman for me. Excuse me? You mean you only wanted to marry me because of the money I'm about to inherit? Hmm, Angela suspected such, but I was just carried away by your kind and fraudulent heart. No, Mimi, the reason why I confessed to you is for you to believe me. And I, I came, I, I have a clean heart. I don't have any negative or greedy impressions toward your inheritance. Hmm. There are people that be replaced in your life no matter what. An example of such in my life is me, me, me. You know why I'll forgive you? Because of your good heart and sincerity. Please never try this again and stay away from bad people. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you. I promise to always make you happy. Thank you for forgiving me. I love you. You know what? Let us keep playing the game along with Barrister Ade until he hands over my inheritance. Then I will expose him. But I won't call for his arrest because it will implicate you. Hmm. I will just teach him a little lesson. By the power bestowed in me, I pronounce you both husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Oh my God. I'm, I'm just here watching how the love of my life is getting married to somebody else. This is what is called painful love to me. Oh God. If I disobeyed my mother then, I will live happy today. Oh God. God, please help me. I'm tired. Ah, congratulations to the newly married couple in town. Ah, congratulations. Oh. Look at you are shining. Thank you, Barrister. If I please smile now. She is your wife smiling you are married today. Ah, this one you are keeping face like a slept over Amala. Barrister, just leave him. He might be very tired. Please, where do I sign? Okay, without wasting much time, um, look at um, the will your father kept for you so that he will be given to you when you are legally married. Um, look at it. Um, if I, you know you are the husband now, um, please just know how you are going to do it and handle it because you know, understand now. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You are a very good 
Lawyer. I have been a good lawyer for your father even when he was alive and I'm also good to you. Ade, I want to thank you for giving me a good life partner. May God bless you. I never knew that sometimes the best thing can come out of foolishness. You are indeed a blessing for using my husband to enrich yourself from my father's property. What do you mean? Ah, if I don't tell me you both have been using my head all this while. Ah, 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 ah. This thing is very painful. Ah, I swear to God. I swear to God. I I'm going. Go fight for me. This is very painful. Fraudulent barrister, Ade. If you ever talk to the love of my life like this, eh, I will use you as an experiment in one of the bad prisons in this country. My love, I will forever keep loving you. I love you, baby girl. Like I love you, baby boy. She is worth more than gold. Like the stars in the sky. She is worth more than diamonds, worth more than silver, special kind of woman. Imama ya kwa kwa ya, ngazi chuku.